is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a new load of wwe action figures <laughs> So in today's video, guys, I have all of these new action figures you see right in front of you. We got some fixed up slash customs. We got some new figures from eBay, and we do have two new pickups from Ringside Collectibles, the good old sponsor. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. The first figure you see, guys, in the middle is the new Ringside exclusive Bret Hart, King of the Ring. And this figure is really nice. I am enjoying the piss out of this figure already. So if we take a closer look at it right here, guys, you do get the scepter, the crown and the little robe here. I'm just going to go ahead and take it all off. The details are nice on this crown and uh, it's kind of crazy because uh, this is only my second Bret Hart Elite which is absolutely insane. The other one is back here that I got a while back that I don't think I ever showed you guys here on the channel because look how beat up it is. This Bret Hart right here is totally beat to hell. But the one thing I noticed about the Ringside Exclusive is that the pink on the uh, singlet up here and on the wrist tape is very, very like neon and highlighter looking pink. This is more accurate to me. And it looks like this pink right here to me is more accurate to the King of the Ring attire. So I don't know why they made it so highlighter looking. But uh, I am loving the attire. I love Bret Hart's attires. Um, he's a really cool legend. Uh, one of the greatest in-ring technical wrestlers of all time. And this is just a great figure. It captures... Uh, his attire very nicely besides obviously the color differential there but uh, I always loved his attire some of my favorite boots in the business you know up there with Kurt Angle and Dolph Ziggler just his pink looks so nice with his black and white and he always had cool designs and stuff like that so that is the ringside exclusive Bret Hart and it does look great I'm very happy to pick this up using promo code MDTOYS at ringside collectibles and of course you guys we did do a full review on this Stone Cold right here if you guys would go check that out we did did do a two-in-one. We had the Stone Cold and the Chris Jericho. So we did do both of the, not this one obviously, we did do uh, this one and the Chris Jericho. Of course we covered it in full detail if you want to go check that out. But we did pick this up yesterday and of course we got that new blue strap WWF championship. So definitely go check that out on the channel but we did add this to the collection. But now I have a couple fix up I want to show you guys. So the first fix up we have right here guys is the Elite 56 AJ Styles. I did do quite a few things to this. Uh, first of all a while back I did add the black open knee pads. It just really completes this figure. Makes this figure look a hundred times better. But what we also did guys is I did cut the elbow pad and a lot of people called me out on Instagram and said that I did cut the elbow pad a bit too much. Which is probably true. You know I've never cut an elbow pad before and I did cut it a little bit too much so I'll probably have to redo that. But we also did repaint the p1 here on the elbow pad if i'll zoom in and show you guys so you guys can see the p1 logo is painted there on the elbow pad and i'll probably have to redo this you know not have it as cut as much but uh if you go back to his new japan days his elbow pad was cut pretty good and pretty close to this so i guess you could say he slipped on his new japan elbow pad or something like that but we also switched the lower left arm with the network spotlight to give him that blue armband i've seen a ton of people do that and I really wanted to do it as well just because it really completes the figure, makes it tie in better. On the gloves, I did paint some black details. You got some black details on the gloves there. And the inside of the gloves are painted uh, black as well to give it that accurate look. Here's a look at the other glove right there. And on this side. So we added some black details to the gloves. We added black details to the waistband right there. This used to not be black. And if you go around here, you will see it is filled in with black. I just think that really contrasts well. You know, it used to just be uh, blue in there. And now with the black, it really ties everything together. The P1 logo had some paint missing, like uh, down here. It was messed up, and then in here it was messed up. I'm sure if you have an Elite 56 AJ Styles, go look at it. It's probably messed up, but I did fix mine to give us the complete P1 logo. So that pretty much does it for the AJ Styles, but I am happy with the way that one came out as well. Next up, we have a fix-up Finn Balor ringside exclusive figure, and this is a beautiful figure that we received from the Zim Figs Project on Instagram. You can go give him a follow. Great dude. He hooked us up with this trade right here. I need to uh, track a few of these down, guys. So if you have a ringside exclusive Balor you would like to trade, hit me up in my email or the comment section below uh, if you would like to trade it, and maybe we can make a deal because I'm really looking for these. This is a fix-up. He did switch the right arm with uh, a black wrist tape arm, and I love the way that looks. But that's not where we, uh, you know, finish the custom off here. 
Uh, he acetoned off the teeth on the back and it had some damage on it, so I filled that in with black paint, you know, sealed that up, cleaned that up nicely. And then here's my favorite part, guys. I painted white outsoles on his shoes just because I just love this attire with the white outsoles. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you'll know that I love the white outsoles. Anytime he wears the demon paint, uh, even in the Independence when he was Prince Debit and he would rock the demon paint, I would always love when he did the white outsoles. It just really ties the figure together. Here's a little uh, zoom out shot so you guys can see what it looks like with the white outsoles. I just freaking love that. Isn't that just so beautifully contrasted? You got the black and white on the trunks and then the black and white on the bottom there. So we did pick up this ringside exclusive Balor Bro. So huge shout out to the Zimvix Project for this great Balor figure. And our last figure we got right here, guys, is the CM Punk I picked up on eBay. And it is an elite best of pay-per-view build of figure Jim Ross, I believe it is, from Money in the Bank. And uh, I believe somebody tried to customize that, as you can see, like all the different paints on here and like logos. And you see here on the trunks, it's covered up and then it's got like light blue, white, and red on there. The back designs are painted over and stuff. So I was gonna, I got it for really cheap, so I was wondering if you guys had a custom idea you guys would like to see. Let me know down in the comments section below. I'd love to know your thoughts on a custom CM Punk. I'll probably switch the head scan. Not a big fan of this head scan. So I'll probably get a different head scan and then just sort of paint up some trunks or something. But uh, that pretty much does it for all the figures on this video here today, guys. Again, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about the CM Punk and what kind of custom uh, fantasy attire or uh, real custom CM Punk that I can do. Let me know what you think of the AJ Styles fix-up back here as well as the Finn Balor fix-up we got right here from the Zim Fix Project. And let me know what you think of the brand new Ringside Exclusive Bret Hart that you can go over there and get at ringsidecollectibles.com using the promo code MDTOYS. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.